Welcome back, uh, part three already about the nth term rule, eh, where we have a particular number sequence and we have to find the nth term rule and then use that rule to find the value of, let's say, term 50. And these are all terms, eh, term 1, term 2, term 3, term 4, term 5, and that nth term rule will describe your number sequence. And what did I say? Well, let's have a look. Perhaps you can already answer it. This is one, two, three, four, five terms. What is term six going to be? Yeah? So we have 16, 14, 12, 10, 8. What is the next one going to be? It's going to be six. And the next one is going to be? It's going to be four. And the next one is going to be? It's going to be two. Fantastic. Because what is the term to term rule? Every time it is takeaway two, isn't it? Every time between each term, they take away two. So to find the end of term rule, I explained in my previous videos, you look at the term to term rule, minus two, so minus two n. That's what you write down immediately. Yeah? If it would be plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three, I would write down three n. Yeah? But now it's minus two, minus two, minus two, minus two n. I'm not finished yet, okay? I have to check my first term. Is it minus two? No, it's 16, isn't it? All right, no worries. What do I have to add or subtract to go from minus two to 16? How much do I have to add or subtract to go from minus two to 16? I try to picture that number line from minus two to 16. I have to add 18, okay? And that is my end term rule. And uh, try to be a little bit modest, always check uh, check that rule for let's say term 5 yeah minus 2 times 5 is how much minus 2 times 5 is minus 10 plus 18 minus 10 plus 18 is 8 so my fifth term is 8 boom fantastic I can use it now to find the value of term 50 very easily minus 2 times 50 plus 18 so that's minus 100 plus 18, okay, careful, minus 100 plus 18, or perhaps you prefer 18 minus 100, huh? you can turn it around, anyway, it's gonna be minus 82, yeah, because it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay, I hope that was useful. I have one more video with some example questions, or you can check my website, explainingmaths.com, or you can find me on Facebook, and just ask me your questions if you have any, and I will help you. I'll see you later.